The ich habe auch gedacht, dass es das einfach eine Leihwand ist. Stanley froze in his tracks. Not a living soul anywhere. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. <lacht> Dein Ernst? Dein fucking Ernst? Das beruhigt mich gar nicht! Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley finally walked forward into the open That's so really good. Oh, he's a penner. Alter. Oh, shit. Good that they put this in with the shit. I can't remember myself. I don't even remember if I did that before. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Blech. Mind Control Facility. <laughs> Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Was? Alter! Was? Da steht Escape, mich nicht Escape zum Tode. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Ein. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward ja. and willingly confront his death. <lacht> Was soll das heißen? Was ist das? Oh, Alter, was? Gemein! Der meint das ernst! Boah, der meint das ja ernst. <lacht> oh Gott. Oh, ich lebe noch. Irgendwie. Wir kommen im Keller. Als die Maschine word into motion und Stanley was inched closer and closer to his Oh, ich werd zerquetscht. Er sieht, dass sein Leben keine Konsequenz war. Stanley kann nicht die größere Bilder sehen. Er weiß nicht, wie die Geschichte ist. Er ist verletzt für immer in seiner narrow Vision von was diese Welt ist. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eye of a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Hey, warum? Nein! Können wir darüber reden? Oh Gott! Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Uh, was? Why would you be harassing? Talk to And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Dieser Dreckiger. Tyrann! When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Toll! Alter, diesen Raum kenne ich ja gar nicht. Landschaftsgemälde. Ach nee, wirklich. Gang. Es war wichtig, das Spieltempo an diesem ersten Abschnitt richtig einzustellen. Dieser Korridor wurde verschoben und verändert, um sicherzustellen, dass der Spieler die beiden Türen in einer guten Zeit erreicht. Ähm, dieser Plan zeigt das Büro vom Spielanfang. Der Weg von Stanleys Büro zu den beiden Türen war der erste Teil des Spiels, der gebaut wurde. Im Laufe der, Entwickl im Laufe der Entwicklung wurde der Abschnitt, äh, wurde im Abschnitt hinzugefügt und verändert, aber der Kerngrundriss ist fast identisch zum ersten Durchlauf. Danke.
Das Büro. Aber nichts drücken. Knopfgeräusche. Eine Auswahl an Geräuschen, die im gesamten Spiel beim Drücken von Knöpfen verwendet werden. Jedes Geräusch ist eine Mischung aus einem Tasten Tastaturschlag und einem künstlichen Ton. Bitte neue Hit. Aus Spongebob. Aktenschränke. Bürocomputer. Wow. Das habe ich auch mal gespielt in der Ausbildung, weil es langweilig war. Installation. Credits. Was zur Hölle? Das kommt mir gar nicht bekannt vor. Wartungsraum. Da geht's nach oben. Büro. Büro-Uhr. Chefbüro. Zack, das sieht ja voll anders aus. Wie viele Gänge gibt's hier? Stanley walked through the green door. Now look closely, Stanley. See how it's impossible for the player to do anything in this room. Perfect example of poor level design. Textbook mistake. <laughs> it's the kind of thing you pick up on intuitively if you had even the most. That's a really cool. Begeber credits. This is mega geil. I must not aufpassen, dass ich mich jetzt hier nicht irgendwie spoiler bei Sachen, die ich kenne. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Sieht so interessant aus. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Um. Listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Turn off the station. There's no other way to beat this game. Hört ihr die Playstation aus? Was? As soon as you move forward, you'll be walking somewhere else. <laughs> Wie soll ich das jetzt machen? Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Ich schalte jetzt nicht aus. Choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... Aber ich will die nicht ausschalten. <laughs> Was ist mit euch? <lacht> ich schneide die Playstation aus, der geht doch kacken! All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Ja, aber das... Bis ich das ausgeschaltet habe, ist vorbei. Content, dann gehen wir noch hin. So, jetzt gehen wir mal nach unten. Wobei, im Büroraum ist auch noch was. Oh, das gibt so viel hier. Ich muss alles merken. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find coming to a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oben. Also fahre ich bis zum Mond?
Er singt mit. Alter, was? Ich hab mich gar nicht bewegt. Was ist eine Scheiße? Wirklich? Das steht einfach nur an der Stelle und bewegt sich nur. Alter. <lacht> Schrecklich. Man dafür eine Trophy kriegt, wenn man hier drin bleibt, für immer. Für immer. Das ist meine neue Streammusik. Der hat auf jeden Fall auch Spaß. Der Erzähler. Ihr wisst in Safe Room Musik im Kopf. Haha. Aber ist schon lustig. Stehst du einfach auf der Stelle? Wird der lauter? Du nicht. Vielleicht explodierst du gleich. Vielleicht haben die hier was eingebaut, was man nicht weiß, weil man das nicht lange aushält. <lacht> Das sagt auf jeden Fall andere Sachen jetzt. Schön, wie mein Controller die ganze Zeit vibriert. Die Musik geht aber eigentlich. Ja, welchen Ohrwurm? Da ist es vorbei. Ach schön. Hat er gerade gesäuft? <lacht> ich hab da keinen Bock mehr. Ich habe nämlich das Gefühl, er singt das gerade so live mit. Also, ne? Die Blase, die existiert noch. Oh, ich habe einen Blasenpflaster seit gestern dran. <lacht> Na, kein Bock mehr. Er wird lauter. Nein, ich stehe jetzt genau unter ihm, also unter dieser einen Box oder so. Also hier ist es am lautesten. Er singt, er ändert es aber nicht, ne? Okay, um 21.20 Uhr gehe ich raus. Ich bleibe jetzt noch zwei Minuten hier drin. 
Ich dachte, ich will mal kurz weg, aber steht das immer noch auf. <lacht> ich wollte gucken, was passiert. Also ich bleibe jetzt bis nur eine Minute. Ich bleibe jetzt nur eine Minute hier drin. Dann gehe ich raus. Er hat ein gutes Durchhaltevermögen. Wer trollen kann, äh, ich kann auch trollen. Also ich habe Geduld. Wenn es so ein McDonalds gibt, im Fahrstuhl würde ich bleiben. Ja, so eine durchreiche Fahrstuhl Drive. <lacht> Er hat gerne einen Big Mac. Bis sie weit runter willst, so acht oder neunte eben in der Hölle. Na, neunte ist schon. Ja. Du hast 20. So, wir gehen jetzt raus hier. Alter, meine Hände kribbeln richtig wegen der Vibration vom Controller. Ne? <lacht> Dieses Gefühl ist ja richtig eklig. Fui. Ach scheiße, jetzt muss ich ja hier. Dank. Tür zugemacht. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Bla bla bla. Dark secrets, the keypad, Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh hey, look, it's a new passageway. No surprise. <lacht> Der hat selber keinen Bock mehr. <lacht> Geil. Bla 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 bla. Ja, hier ist die Geheimtür. Geh aber rein. Tschüss. <lacht> oh, wie gut, ey. <lacht> Scheiße. Ich mach mich fertig. Fixing <lacht> uh, aus. Einfach keinen Bock mehr. Denke ich. Stanley walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control for Du kannst nicht springen. Doch! Ich will springen! Das ist Tatsache wirklich immer der Versuch, dass ich ob ich wirklich springen kann. <lacht> Blöden Schweine. Komm, ich gehe nochmal hier rein. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Was soll ich jetzt zurück? Wenn ich zurückgehe, warte. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Ja, ich gehe nochmal. Hoch, ich bin gerade eingeschlafen. Ja, guten Morgen. Oder abends. Mach ich auch immer so, wenn mir nichts einfällt, sage ich bla bla bla. But of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. Und dann gehe ich wieder zurück. Nope, still on board with <lacht> Die Sache passt schon. <lacht> Alter. <lacht> nope. <lacht> Alles ausprobiert. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly also confront Kacke. his death. Jetzt habe ich diesen Sound im Kopf. Hier leben wir noch. Vielleicht nicht mehr. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Tschüss. Tschüss. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, oh. as Stanley was led helplessly into the Scheiß enormous Spiel. metal ha. doors. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body.
killing him instantly. Keks gefüllt. Und Keks füllt mir Gebühren. <laughs> ah. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. <laughs> What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead nichts. from the moment he hit start? Ich sehe nicht. Lachtfeld. Oh, Geld, was? Regnet. Money. Tiller E-Mails. Was ist das? E-Mails? Oh Gott. Oh, das ist ja wunderschön. Ein Spring? Ja, ich weiß. Aber ich habe ja gerade die Tastatur ähm, nachgemacht und habe so getan, als ob ich schreibe. Okay. Muss hier auch Gebühren zahlen. Punkt. Ich garantiere, noch mal einzuschlafen. Ich verabschiede mich im Voraus schon mal. Alles gut. <lacht> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. Und Brownie auch. Haha. Ha. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? Ja, ich sehe Gebühren. No. Not. Und Klaus auch. Ha, ha. <lacht> ich bin einfach wie Grandpa Simpson. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Turn off your PlayStation. There's no other way to beat this game. <lacht> ich würde es eigentlich gerne ausmachen, oh Mann, ey, das ist... Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let ich bin gespannt, ob das, wenn man die Playstation ausmacht, ob das auch irgendwas ändert. Krass. Und Keks, danke für deine fünf Erdbeeren. Lisa schrei äh, schreibt, dass Keks müffelt und der einen Gebühren äh, schuldet. Und Keks führte diese sofort aus, damit er nicht äh, mit Durchfall bestraft wird. Aber du hast doch noch Durchfall für die nächsten Jahre. Äh, was ist denn jetzt los? Ähm... All of his co-workers were gone. Mean. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Wer hat hier eine Kopierpapierparty gemacht? The fuck? The new content. So, jetzt gehen wir die Treppe mal runter. Came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Da geht's auch runter. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Nee, ich nicht. Oh, ab in die Hölle. Ja, geil. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all? None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, 
Why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. Uh. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving Darf himself, reden? believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock he's to sick. Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... I he would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. Oh, Tom. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. Yeah, I he the cruel weight of the blanket <laughs> on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Stimmt doch gar nicht. Ich bin immer noch hier im Raum. He thought to himself, "I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons." Please, it's that's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. The Frau? All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Scheiße, es ist immer noch der gleiche Raum. <lacht> Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss, I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Also, okay. Jetzt so ist black. <laughs> this is the story of a woman named Mariella. Hey, what? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body what? of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she Alter. Knew. Everyone knows what this kenne ich nicht. Like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of Das ist das erste, was dir einfällt? Da liegt ein toter Mann. Ich bin gesund. It was comforting to think. Wunderschön. Es ist tröstlich, dass er gestorben ist und ich nicht. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. 
She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, <laughs> staring down I the door. And then she turned and ran. Boah! Ja, er ist tot! Jetzt aber nicht mehr. Wie assi! What the fuck? Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself, that's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. Okay, ist jetzt wieder ganz anders? Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, yeah. but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Jetzt gehen wir durch die rechte Tür. This was not the correct way to the meeting room and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley oh, simply schön. stood here, drinking it all in. Er saugt alles auf, wie ein Staubsauger. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nee. Stanley was so bad at following directions, <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> Um, was? <lacht> genau. Oh Gott, was ist das denn hier? Kommt mir Tatsache sogar bekannt vor. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been nee, but they're the ganze Zeit okay. With. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Er hört auf zu reden. Okay, danke für die fünf Erdbeeren, die du mir gegeben hast. Gebühren PS Brauli hat immer nur Ausreden wegen Gebühren. Ja, da gibt es auch noch Ausredengebühren. Plus Zinsen. Und er kriegt auch noch drei Wochen Durchfall. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Was will ich nicht machen? Raus! Kann ich euch jetzt mit den Klingelton nerven? Sich nicht? Okay. Ja, lustig, wenn es euch nervt. <lacht> ich denke eigentlich, dass sie vielleicht, dass er noch irgendwas sagt oder so. So, hör, nimm jetzt endlich den Hörer ab oder so. Aber anscheinend nicht, ne? 